Thank you for accepting our invitation to judge this Stevie Awards program. This short video will illustrate how to perform the judging in a way that will satisfy all of our requirements. You've gotten to this point, so obviously you know how to log in to your judging account. At any time, you can log back in through the judge's login on the home page. If you ever have trouble logging in or using the site, or if you have any questions about how to use the system, email us at helpplusjudging at stevieawards.com. When you log into the judging system, you'll go directly to your main judging account page. The page will greet you by name and invite you to tweet about your participation to your colleagues, friends, and followers. On the page, you'll see links to as many as 20 entries to be judged in the categories assigned to you. You'll always see 20 entries here if there are at least that many still to be judged in your queue. So don't panic if your list doesn't seem to be getting any shorter because the system will always backfill from other entries in your queue. It's easy to see how many entries are still to be judged in your queue and how many you've already judged. Before you judge the first entry, click the link to review the instructions about how to conduct the judging. Even if you've participated in Stevie Awards judging before, review these instructions because they may have changed since the last time you judged. Let's look now at how to judge an entry. Click the title of an entry to access it. At the top of the page, you'll see the judging control panel. Below that is the entry to be judged. Read the essay portion of the entry and click any supporting materials submitted with the essay to review them. The control panel features the following components. The score selection pull-down menu, the comments box, and the submission or progression buttons. Also, on every entry, you'll find a link back to the instructions in case you need a refresher. Read the instructions completely. That's really important. You'll give each entry you rate a score of 1 to 10, with 1 the lowest possible score and 10 the highest. There's a recusal option if you can't objectively rate an entry because you have some association with the entrant that we're not aware of. And there's a wrong category option if you believe the entry was submitted in an inappropriate category and you can't rate it in its current category. Your score should be based on your total assessment of the entry, on the quality of the achievements portrayed in the entry, on the entry's relevance to the category in which it was submitted, on how well the entry was written, and on the quality of any supporting materials submitted with the essay. Rate each entry on its own merits. Don't compare one entry with another. In some cases, you'll see and rate the same entry several times because companies sometimes submit the same entry to multiple categories. In those cases, score and comment on each submission as if you're seeing it for the first time. Note that some categories now give entrants the option to submit a video of up to five minutes in length instead of the traditional written Stevie Awards essay or case study. These include the categories for marketing, new products, and public relations. Review and rate videos submitted in these categories using the same criteria you'll use to rate entries featuring written essays. In addition to a numerical score, you're required to provide a short, constructive comment for each entry you review. Once Stevie winners are announced, entrants will see your comments, although they won't know who provided them. So it's important that your comments be forthright but respectful. Entrants are looking for constructive feedback about how to make their entries better and about how to better portray their achievements. Your comments should be consistent with your scores. If you give an entry a high score, the comment you provide for that entry should be mostly complimentary. If you give an entry a mediocre or low score, the comment you provide for it should offer a brief statement about why you aren't giving it a higher score. And please provide each entry with a unique comment. Do not provide the same stock comment to many entries. Here are some examples of appropriate and inappropriate comments.
Once you've selected a score and provided a comment on an entry, you can submit them and see the next entry in your queue, or submit them and return to your main judging page. If you want to cancel your choices and return to your main judging page, you also have that option. But note that once you submit a score and a comment for an entry, you won't be able to change them. Email us at helpplusjudging at steviawards.com if you submitted a score or comment in error that should be changed. And that's it. You now know how to judge entries in this Stevie Awards competition. You're about to read some fascinating and inspiring stories of innovation, growth, and achievement. Thank you again for your participation. We know you'll enjoy the process.